Hello, everybody, and today we're doing a city tour for March, and this one I'm doing, like, if, so, I try to do it monthly, but then if there's, like, if there's, like, no real, like, addition to LEGO City that really, like, that I have, then, then I just won't do, then I just won't cover that month, but this one month did have that big, some big additions, so, let's start. So, the first is the... Train station, which has been here for quite a while now, been here since like December. So, yeah, you've probably seen this in other city videos. It's just there, except now yeah, I have train track. I don't think I've shown in a video yet. I have these train track in Lego City, which for the train, Hogwarts Express, because that's the only train I have, to go down the train tracks and down here, which I'm gonna make more train tracks to, to accommodate the addition to Lego City, the expansion, but. Then we have the park, which hasn't really changed. There's, there's a couple, like there's a a kid watching a video and drinking a green smoothie. And then, yeah, besides that, I think there's just a couple more minifigs. And that's really it, just a couple more minifigures. More minifigures, and yeah, I still really like this. This is my favorite part of Lego City, just very open and very nice looking. Nice picnic, a little bean there done with that. The annual cop eating donuts thing, which one of the cops is missing for some reason. Then we have Wal um Walmart. I think it'll call it like Brick Mart or something soon. But let's go this way. Anyway, but you see, there's a bunch of shoppers, and you can see there's a Benny, and I don't want to take off the roof because it takes kind of hard to put back in. But you can kind of see there's like you know what I do that no. Okay. There's stuff, there's like action figures, and a bunch of people buying stuff. Pretty dark links in there, but in the top, there's a worker who's, you know, gonna come down back to the ground after fixing the roof. And you can see Benny here has, has found the secret to having the best experience on a skateboard, which is at, at a rocket booster. And that's quite, there's actually three people using skateboards in this city. Him, and then we'll see the other ones. Then there is a road. I think this is Cross Street. Yeah, Cross Street is in the middle of these two streets. Of the two streets right here. And you can see, what I like about this Walmart sign is you can see it from Main Street, and then you can also see it from... And you can also see it from the bridge, I'm pretty sure. And, like, if some certain signs tilt, you can see things on the bridge as well. But, then, we're not going to go down Cross Street yet, because that would be the next row. Then we have the Modular Sweet Surprises, with a nice little sweet shop for LEGO City. With some nice stuff, like a person leaving. And some nice little stuff. Then we have my ex new, my re not kind of rel relatively recently expanded LEGO City Bank. City Bank, and you can see the kid is skate. The skate. This is the second skateboarder in Lego City, and they all buy their skateboard from the same exact skateboard shop. Which I have a skateboard shop in Lego City. That'd be interesting. And you can see there's the bank, which had an interior, which I don't really want to look at the interiors of any of these things, really. But then we have this. House, the beach house, and you can see this is the set that the skateboarder kid came in. But I'm having him skateboarding along. Like he maybe he goes over here and then skateboards down the street. And then yeah, this is a very nice little house. I like this little cook cooktop area. Then there's just this house, which previously was just overlooking a bunch of oh, empty void, but now it's actually overlooking the rest of the city. But and you can see it's just a big window. Some baby, the kid holding a baby, and yeah, and then, yeah, I'm gonna do the second row of this, Bill, um, the rest, all rows of this, then we go to the new expansion, so then we have the Sanctum Sanctorum showdown set, which is a really cool set to put in Lego City, this is like, if you want, just find, if you're just looking for just a tall, a tall thing to put in Lego City, that you just, like, if you need something to put in Lego City, then, and you have a hundred dollars to spend. This like if you only have a hundred dollars, I'd recommend this set or this set. 
But this is probably the one you can find easier, because that one's actually retired, I think. This one's not. And you can see some Doctor Strange and Ebony Maw. They're battling epically. And Spider-Man's coming down to help Tony Stark fight Cole Obsidian. And you can see the pizza place has been exploded. Windows imploded. And then we have our third and final skateboarding human in the LEGO City. And that is the... And a cyborg, the cybernetic cyborg. And then you can see that there's also one of these guys as well. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna move him over right here. And then there's behind you is just a road. I think this is actually what's this? this is Bridge Street, I think. Yeah, Bridge Street. And then you can see the back of Sinkman Tom. So, like, obviously, if this was like, like it in the imaginary Lego world. I pretend that all these buildings are closed off, but in reality, like, like, I have it in front of a window, so if the window was open, and it was back, then you just see the back of those buildings, but, yeah, and then technically it should have been in the first row, I'm not sure, but then there's the bridge, which is kind of like, it's not, it's the second tallest thing in Lego City, you can see there's just the, a great set, this has been in Lego City for... A long, long time. Then we have this little stuff on a bunch of stuff on the bridge, like that thing, which you can't find anywhere else. Same with that under there for the same reason. And then. Then there. Then if you go down Bridge Street and go to Cross Street, there is the Daily Bugle, which goes to Daily Bugle Street, which is where Bugle Street is. And you can see it's being blocked by this guy, but. By Doctor Doom's airplane, but there's some people are walking into the bugle. She's standing there in the bugle. So, any if I ever do a video again where I have to find Tina Goldstein, I'll probably just forget she's in there. She's still in there when I. And then I guess the, and I'll put some, there's the football game, the epic football game. This has been in Lego City for like, like this, that bridge, this park, and. Some of these houses have been in Lego City. So they were like some of the first things I put, I put in Lego City. Like the ones in Lego City was just on this table. This was just the only table. Then expanded to this table and another table. I think this table and there was like a plateau with the old Lego table. And then I even look back at some of my older stop motion. I mean, not like really older, but like like some of my stop motions that I filmed longer ago. And yeah. Oh, and that's been in Lego City for quite a while too, though. And yeah, pretty nice football game. And it's actually a, then actually one of my new, slightly newer additions, the movie theater, which you can see the pizza van in front of it with two ninja with a ninja and garment on fighting on top of it. There's some cars, a monster truck show, which should be going this way, shouldn't it? With people watching, so she, she could just watch and get free, free watch, I guess. And then you can see that there, this is the Rainbow Movie Theater, I think it's called, yeah. See the popcorn, popcorn cart set, I reviewed that. And just a lot of people. Like, there's even, um, Agent Brick and Agent Mary as well. Then this one Spider-Man set that I reviewed that I couldn't really find to put anywhere else to put, so I just put it here. That's kind of thing with LEGO City, because like, I don't really have a lot of shelf space remaining. I just put anything in LEGO City that really would fit. Then... Yeah, and then you can see there's like this thing, which is something from Stardew Valley, and there's a, an Arctic expedition. Pretty cool. Um, I have to put. I'm gonna put these guys back in the um, Star Wars land because I originally had this thing was in Lego City, but then I and and this was like a tr Jedi training thing, but then I decided not to have that thing in Lego City because. Now we have the campground, so that's pretty cool. But anyway, so then we're at Stephen Temple, which is the biggest house. This is technically, technically, they were both technically a house, but this is like the biggest one that's actually meant to be a house. So, like, just one house, and yeah, it's pretty nice. There's even an airplane on top flying above it. The bridge, and then the high school, like Rainbow High School. Pretty cool. There's some students walking around. And then we have the. This red hat, red roof house would have been in Lego City for quite a while. 
And then you can see behind you there's a the ninja. I think what you can go through from there. There's a little ninja hideout, and then these two, I'm Action Jackson and Mary, I can't remember her last name, just behind there because that's where she was. There were what I made Action Jackson Act Two. I don't know if I'm gonna make Action Jackson Act Three, but the third act of Action Jackson, the the kind of overgo long going movie from Action Jackson. And actually, I think this is the villain from Action Jackson actually. Yeah. And that kid is actually, I think, except for his hairpiece, which is supposed to be some different hairpiece. I don't think I'll leave those guys there, so I maybe I can And he's the kid that, like, um, his phone, he left his phone, so they could mind him. And I think that's all in the part of Lego, the big part of Lego City, but then, so normally that's where the video would end, but there's some additions. So you can see that there is a new table right here. And you can go down this street, you can go down Main Street, and then go down this little bridge, which I don't know if this is counts as Main Street or not, because there's not really a lot of streets that room for streets to go. If you're under the bridge, which there is a nice couple going down the river, from the campground, and then there's a road work. They're doing some road work, which I think will move these guys. Some nice road work with a tape and this. Then the campground, which actually in this space, in this space as well. Um, when that's built, there will be a Mia's treehouse set. I was waiting for my mom to build that. Then we have this hospital, which is kind of work in progress. So probably built. There's some people walking around currently in the parking lot. I don't know if I'll add an extra floor after that. Because I'm interesting. But then there's new suitcase, which again we're going to find out a place to put it. Then we have the movie studio, which is the film studio of Lego City. There you can see there's this mysterious portal where some people are printing. And you can see actually, so you might wonder what this portal is doing. Well, not plugged in to anything it's supposed to be, but you can see there's people. And actually, if you go on to it, you can see that that portal actually teleports them to Harry Potter land, to the Harry Potter world. Which I don't know if I'll change it to Minecraft world or just leave it the way it is, because... Like, yeah, because, but it's real, like, really, it doesn't really matter if it's, like, out of place, because it's Lego, so, like, it's not meant to be all the same, all the same theme. Like, whole Lego suit basically is a bunch of themes mixing together, and then, and also, like, like, there's, like, let's count, let's count, I know this is kind of getting off topic of the city tour, but there, let's count the Harrys. One.